There's been some big statements made on the last day of the LAP hearing. Numerous bar owners spoke out against the proposal, airing concerns about its impact on their businesses. But the hearing ended on a supportive note, with Southern District Health Board staff welcoming all aspects of the policy. There's been a, quite a focus uh, in the discussion around the local alcohol policy on acute harm. So that's the harms which are associated with binge drinking or, or after binge drinking. So that's things like injury, assault, violence, sexual infections. Dr. Reid says alcohol is a massive health problem and it's getting worse. More than $7 million was spent treating hospital patients solely affected by alcohol in 2012. That was up considerably on the $4.2 million spent in 2009. Dr. Reid says people need to consider those rising costs in relation to local liquor laws. So I think people need to, need to take a step back and, and consider that actually these measures are sensible, they're proportionate and they will lead to a reduction in alcohol rate at harm in Dunedin. The hearing panel also heard about a different set of issues caused by drinking. Dr. Reid wants to highlight alcohol's impact on mental health and its association with cancers, strokes and heart attacks. So we want to remind the, the council and, and the, the, the wider city of Dunedin that those harms are there and are as important as the, the acute injury that you see uh, associated with alcohol. A wealth of information and opinion has been expressed at the hearing over the past few weeks. Now the panel's deliberating over everything said as the council moves towards finalising the LAP. David DeLorean, 39 Dunedin News.